You can't see it just yet, but it is, it is coming. This is so eerie and so beautiful. Welcome back to my Peak District and Yorkshire adventure with Rabbi's Tours. Today we will wander in the footsteps of Harry Potter, Dracula, and 13 mysterious Benedictine monks. Settle in, this episode is best enjoyed with a cup of Yorkshire tea. They too was going to start by visiting a lesser known Harry Potter filming location, so I was excited to see it. And in case you're wondering, Ayo is the Yorkshire way of saying hello. It took me a few times until I got the hang of it, but our always cheerful guide Darren was determined to have us all say it properly before the end of the trip. How do rabbis manage? to hire only cheerful drivers every time <laughs> every time I've been on a tour gun to the head you just said <laughs> obviously you go through an interview process but, but we had rabbis do look for people who have got an interest in the history in the stories in travelling around and in meeting people it's not a job it's not work how can I call this work look at it <laughs> Accompanied by many sheep, which I found to be just the norm in Yorkshire, really, we arrived in Goathland. Um, you know, with a big beard and yes. uh -huh. Hagrid. Uh, Hagrid, sorry, Hagrid. I couldn't think of his <laughs> character name then. <laughs> I knew his real name. Um, he was stood basically where the milk churns were, talking and, you know, wishing Harry goodbye and all the rest of it. So that's where it was. <laughs> Comment below if you recognised Hogsmeade immediately. For me, it took me a few minutes, but when the friendly guy described the scene where Hagrid says goodbye to Harry and then the camera pans out showing this red bridge, that's when I remembered. But you know, just being in Hogsmeade wasn't all. We were in for another surprise. We've heard some rumours that a train is coming past, a steam train, in about five minutes. Lots of people arriving right now to get the best view. I mean, I never thought I'd be excited about this, but I am. It's totally crazy because you can hear it, you can hear the steam engine. You can't see it just yet, but it is, it is coming. This was awesome. <laughs> Honestly, like I said, I never thought the train is leaving now again. It's just super loud. Oh my God, I'm literally like 100 meters away and you can still hear it. Right, this is the day I became a steam engine fan. <laughs> To the scummiest vessel I'd ever seen. God damn them all! I was told we'd sail the seas for American gold with final gun. Shed no tears! From the Hogwarts Express to Whitby, the town where Bram Stoker found inspiration to write Dracula. Whitby is a seaside town in Yorkshire. And when it gets dark and stormy, the whole town, including Whitby Abbey, which you can see here, apparently both get an eerie feel. I could actually see and imagine this, even though it was another sunny day. Darren, our guide, also said that you get the UK's absolute best fish and chips in Whitby. So no need to tell me twice. I settled in for fish and chips for lunchtime and maybe another Yorkshire tea. Oh, and how good was this group singing in the beginning? Let's listen to it again whilst I enjoy my fish and chips.
spent the evening back in York. I took a boat, I enjoyed the fresh air, I wondered if York really is the most haunted city in Europe, and I finished the day at a pretty posh dinner place called the Rattle Owl, recommended to me by my friend Luke Catlu, who most of you probably remember, and a glass of Prosecco and a delicious dinner later, I was ready for bed and new adventures in the morning. How cool is this? I'm super impressed and also potentially a little bit scared. There's almost just bird noises and nothing else. Super eerie. <laughs> In 1132, 13 Benedictine monks left York to found Fountains Abbey. There have been many rumours since, whether they left because they wanted to or because they were banned from York for having done something bad. I'm literally mind blown. I know I'm someone who always hypes everything quite a bit because I'm just an excitable person, but this is so eerie and so beautiful. I'm like a little bit scared. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of all the ghost stories that I heard this weekend or just because maybe there's a certain feeling in the air. <laughs> My expression here probably says it all. It really was scary, but Fountains Abbey was one of the most incredible places I have ever visited. Obviously, I had lots of fun playing around with scary music, but trust me when I say it only enhanced what I was really feeling. Next stop, something a little bit more lighthearted in the footsteps of a very famous British stop-motion series called Wallace and Gromit, we stopped by the Wensleydale Creamery for lunch. Old smoked Yorkshire Wensleydale. Oh my god, super nice. Probably a good cheese to try. Sorry, <laughs> if you want to try smoky cheese, but not go all the way. Right, so we have sat down for lunch, and I have finally got a Yorkshire pudding in Yorkshire. <laughs> Let's see if this Yorkshire pudding is any different <laughs> or better. And so British to me. I honestly could just eat Yorkshire pudding. It's like it's just one of my favorite pieces of British food culture. And it's so crunchy. Mm. So, funny story the Wensleydale Creamery was actually about to go bankrupt just when Wallace and Gromit declared it to be their favorite cheese in the series. And naturally, business is booming since. After lunch, I tasted a few more different types of Wensleydale in this excellently designed tasting room. First you disinfect your hands and then, well, off you go. This trip is a good reminder that sometimes we do not have to take a plane to the other end of the world to see something magical. I had fun and I hope you did too. The link to the Rabbi Tours website is below and do let me know in the comments if you'd like me to go on another trip with them. I hear that the Wales one is something not to miss. Come and join us on tour! Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully, mate, you never know. Thank you, Mark. Top hat. I've really enjoyed it. It's been great. <laughs> All right, maybe see you in Wales, you never know. <laughs> as long as we're not on the worst tour, we're all right. Bye-bye. <laughs>